Toronto condo prices are up by about 20% since last year. That is insane. Let's take a look at what's going on and I'm trying to give you my best view of the market. Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker with Search Realty Search Mortgage. And today we're gonna to look at what's going on in the Toronto market. 20% increase, no joke. A couple of days ago, I showed you what can you get for 660, which is the average Toronto condo price according to the Trip Market Watch. Uh, then I put a video, have you paid too much? Because when the prices rise so quickly, it's very easy to pay too much because all the sellers are raising the prices, but a lot of these properties are just not worth it. But nonetheless, if there's nothing else, people go and still buy them. You gotta be careful for that, okay? So I'm gonna give you a quick review. I'm gonna jump right into it. Yossi Kaplan here with twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan for all the updates. UrbanRealtyToronto.com, my main site. I just put a article called How to Buy a Toronto Condo in 2023, Easy Steps. Uh, please review it if you're new to the game or you need to kind of refresh your memory. It's a very simple, short article, lots of videos. Somebody actually asked me, like, do you know, like, you're making great videos, and they're, but they're really complicated. Put something really easy. So there you go. That's easy. Okay. Uh, TorontoCondosForSale.com. This website I put together uh, last year. So it's going really well, and it shows you everything that is new in Toronto, all the pre-construction, but it also shows you assignments and resales. So if you're interested in any new construction or just want to check the market, go on the site, and you can register yourself for any pre-construction condo you can find here. Okay, that's all good. Uh, the next I'm going to show you, and by the way, if you want, you can go to the menu, listing, residential search, and I'll just show you quickly how I search here. I put Toronto price range property type I look at condo I just want to see properties for sale so I'm going to uncheck the rent put in the search and you're gonna get a, a map search with everything you need to know there you go it zooms for you right on Toronto and I come in here and start fetching properties and show you what's available in the market okay this is updated all the time it's continuously updated <coughs> okay the other interface that you can look and this will show you I'm on the residential search here, but you can change to commercial and pre-construction as well. Uh, the other interface I use is yossi.searchrealty.co, which connected right to my company. So if you have any search here, you want to book a show, you can do it right from this website or the other one too. Uh, and Toronto, pick the whole Toronto, do a search, and it's going to give you everything in the system. And then using these filters, you can start filter to what you want to see. For example, I'm going to put uh, 400,000 minimum just to skip the rentals and <coughs> I can put more condo apartment and condo townhouse just to see all the condos and it's gonna give me whatever it finds in the system and then as we zoom in the system will fetch more and more properties to show you what's available and then you can use more filters restrict the price so see what you want to see okay that's good uh, the next thing I want to show you, and I'll just show you a couple more things, and we're going to jump into the in the 20%. The condocalculator.ca, come here, put your name, your email, I'm not a robot, and you get a link to this file, which will download to your computer, so you can then use this information in your privacy, not online, it's not on the cloud, just download to your computer, and just use this spreadsheet, and use the yellow values, you enter your information, and the green will spew out information. So check this out, condos.ca, is showing me today $815. This is the average for condos.ca. Toronto condo average property sold PSF per square foot, dollar per foot for the past 14 days. So this number, what condos.ca does, it takes the asking price of the unit divided by what it knows the square footage of the unit and then it averages all these units which are here 414 sold. Hold on. Loud today, it's Friday. <coughs> 412 sold, so you take so average of these 14, uh, 412 sold, and you're gonna get you 815, and it's increase of 20.12 percent year over year change in value. That is crazy. Now, in one of the videos uh, that I've done, I said uh, 2020, 2020 will be something like 15 to 20 percent. Now, of course, these numbers come in the, uh, up and go. T uh, 10, 10 to 15 percent that's what I wrote here so condos that's here already showing us a 20 percent increase now this is this is this number changes but I can tell you that it'll come up it'll come down but generally speaking it's going up right now we're going up in the market it gives you good analysis and when you look here oh they just changed the interface a little bit uh, but you can see here that 
the price per foot here it gives you 820 820 and before we were below 820 now in previous videos actually it came to 770 so they must have changed their algorithm a little bit <coughs> nonetheless you can see that generally speaking the price is going up the price is going up the price is going up and the number of sales that it's based on are here so obviously there's always more sales in uh, in the summer months and then in October and November everybody back to school after Labor Day and January is usually uh, less sales and less uh, the, the average price is lower but nonetheless you just can't stop this thing you can't stop this thing and of course we're looking at supply and demand we're looking at geopolitical issues where Canada is the best place to live in the world thank you very much Canada I'm so happy to be here and I'm sure you too and you can drill down all you want but what you're gonna see is you're gonna see those prices are coming up and we're really becoming a city of can you afford to buy or you're gonna have to rent or if you can don't want to rent don't want to pay the price you're gonna have to find another property cheaper share and so on and so forth I made a video how to buy how to buy condo with with a partner I made a video about sh should you invest out of Toronto all these all these things I looked at Hamilton I look at uh, Brantford I look at Guelph Kitchen and Waterloo we look at Niagara you know it's it's all there it's all there but I think that we really reach in a stage here a state where the prices are getting very very high and they're gonna have to push the rents up now the rents are curious because the rents you can see uh, it says 14.6 increase year over year and that's the average for Toronto now the downtown Toronto the average is about four dollars a foot and you can do it by just put the word downtown here downtown just downtown okay so all these areas and that's Toronto uh, that's a condos.ca considers downtown and then hit on this uh, analytics right here and these are the values for the sales and it shows you 5.7 increase in this area 1037 a foot which is the average here and you can see how the prices are creeping up and when we switch to the rent you can see we're at 402 and now we're at 390 so the rent came down a little bit they came 12 cents a foot uh, that's not a lot it's about you know three percent but there are more condos in a city and when a new building and as the new building is becoming larger and bigger and bigger you know more floors and the units are smaller there are more units per floor so you're gonna get more rentals available every time a new unit a new building is completed there's just more and more rentals available and look at all these area Toronto is becoming huge it's really becoming a megalopolis a giant giant city and if we're about I don't know 8 million people in the GTA now and for me the GTA is from Niagara to Oshawa and Ontario to about 13 million people but you know we probably adding about a hundred hundred fifty thousand people to Toronto itself every year and we probably adding about 300,000 people to Ontario every year now the government number will be a lot lower of course but that's what governments do and the real number is you know if you consider internal immigration people coming from smaller communities into the city into legal immigration they come through the system and then we got refugees and we got illegals crossing the borders walking over or I don't know canoeing over <laughs> around Kingston whatever they do there um, that's what you see but there are more units on the market so the rents are slightly down uh, which is typical and every building takes a bit of time to absorb especially when a lot of these buildings are sold the last few years are sold mostly to investors so the investors are releasing the units either as assignments or rentals and that means that there's more and more units on the market so you know the first year when you when you get that condo you put it on the market you may not achieve your maximize you don't maximize your ROI it may take a bit of time um, but that's I think typical and normal for this situation and that's why I've been telling you over and over again you got to think long term here and long term means I'm not buying to flip I'm buying it to hold I always have to be ready to hold now if I get an opportunity to flip and make some money why not I do a lot of assignments and I act for a lot of people that sell their assignments or buy assignments which is totally fine because you still can get a great deal and you can actually get assignments way less 10 and 20 percent less than what a developer will charge you if a developer is charging you 1300 a foot or 1500 a foot for a new construction you can find an assignment for 1100 or 1200 you're saving 300 dollars a foot that's about 25 percent of the price of developer of course you have to close on it but hey if you want to if you need the unit soon now or soon assignment is a very is a very good way to go obviously you need some more cash there's closing costs all these things but eventually you, you got to close on that place anyways so that's my point the sales are going up 
the numbers are going up, the window of opportunity is closing. I think I made a video called the window of opportunity closing. And you really have to focus and to see what's going on here and where can you find the best value. And talking about value, you know, there's a lot of million dollar property available now. There's a lot of million dollar condos available now. So what I do when I look at a million dollar condo is I really look at the scarcity of it and how much can I get out of it. And you, you know, you got to know the buildings. Like 300 Front Street is an Airbnb building. It's actually legal in the condo docks for the 300 Front. So I think you'll find a lot of Airbnbs there. So it's going to be a very different kind of micro, macro marketplace at 300 Front than another building, which is like your typical building. Now, when you're going to invest a million dollars, you got to think to yourself, are you going to invest a million dollars in City Place or are you going to invest a million dollars in a very unique building? Okay, that's another thing. Um, if you're going to buy an assignment, uh, like 200 Dundas, which is just coming along now, Dundas Square Gardens, you'll see there's a lot of units for sale. These are just advertised, but there's, there's probably way more. So there's a chance, this building here, and it's going to be it's gonna be a rental building. It's literally at, on, on top of Ryerson. And you see it's all conditional, it's all conditional, it's all conditional. So a lot of these units are selling. Why? Because they're relatively cheap. Okay, they're about a thousand bucks a foot. 488 for 500 square feet, 510 for 500 square feet, 498 for 500. These units are about a thousand, a thousand a foot, a thousand a foot. That's a very, very good value. Uh, I don't know if, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't give me um, estimate, but I can, I can look at the asking prices, and I can tell you, 449, and that's maybe a studio here. The ministries are very, very low, so it's probably a tiny unit. Okay. View photos, but those that's not the these are renders. I'm just looking, I'm looking for a unit. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the exact opposite here instead of looking for the most expensive unit, I'm looking for a good investment. So, here's a one bedroom with a living dining in this building. Now, there's tons and tons of units this type in this building, so there's a lot of options for you, but also you may have to fight a little bit more for a tenant. But it's okay, you know, it's only January now, and all the students are moving in in July, August, and September. So, this building by that time will be packed will be packed because Ryerson is taking more and more students 488 sold sold conditional and well below a thousand dollar foot very very good again my friends go here condos.ca you got to be logged in 815 that's 20 percent year over year and when you click here you can see the graph you can go to market watch but nonetheless the point is the prices are going up there's more units in the market so we need to start investing in the long term. We need to be very, very smart. Where we invest, what kind of unit. You can't just throw your money around. You have to be very, very careful. Uh, do me a favor, if you're looking at buying or selling or thinking about it, or just want some information about a unit, or you want to say, you'll see, like, is my unit still good as an investment? A lot of people come to me and say, you know, I bought this unit 10 years ago, 20 years ago, or I bought an older building a long time ago. Now this building is 40 years old. Should I keep it or should I? Should I not? Well, we're going to use the condo calculator. We're going to run the numbers for you and see the viability of these units and we'll assess what this unit will do and we can assess if you sold your condo today, what, would you, what will stay in your hand after we sold it and everything. We'll kind of do like a, a, an analysis and try to estimate what can you can get for it and what can you do with this money. Can you invest it better? Because at some point these condos are getting older and the condo fees are getting higher because that's what they tend to do and then you want to reinvest 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 and keep moving okay investment is not a stale thing yes we invest for the long term yes i like to invest for three five seven ten years but if it's getting if it's getting to the point where i need to move I, i'm okay with it you know i'm okay with like selling paying the cost of the selling and moving on here is uh, one of the first assignments i've seen on mls maybe the first one 159 sw 159 wesley that's really cool. This is a great building. I have an assignment here for sale. It's not an MLS, and that's 951. I wonder if it's got parking. It doesn't say, but this will be a really nice building to invest in because it will come at about a thousand a foot, either with or without parking. Very, very good investment, in my opinion. Okay, my friends, that's what I want to tell you today. Um, the prices are going up. If you're gonna do it, do it now. I already told you. I'm looking at even if it only like 10 or 15 percent increase a year. Uh, that's about 1% a month on average will give you 12% a year. That's very, very high. That's really, really high. That's a rapid change. I don't know if it's going to stop at any time. It absolutely has to do with supply and demand. It absolutely has to do with all the immigration coming here and all the students coming here. And you know, I go on the, uh, on the um, Uber 
And a lot of these guys, they drive me around the Uber, I, I just, we just chat, and they, a lot of them tell me they have a, a um, it's called a temporary work visa. I didn't know this thing exists. A lot of people coming here on temporary work visa and working. So Canada is bringing in a lot of people. They're working. They're generating money. The economy is booming. You know, as all things are going all over the place, but I think Canada is pretty safe. And Canada is a great place to live. And you can see it right here. So buying, selling, leasing, need an advice. Just want to chat. Give me a call. Yossi Kaplan. Search Realty. Thank you very much. Have a great day. That's it.